Hey guys, now we've spoken about metering modes and how to get the right exposure in your shot. But what if you find yourself in a situation where your camera still isn't quite giving you the desired exposure in skin tones, a white dress, or even the background? In this video, we discuss how exposure compensation can help, as well as what it does and how to use it. Any of the metering modes discussed in my previous video can make use of Exposure Compensation, or EC. When this mode is activated, the camera will still meter as normal, except that this time the final exposure target will be compensated by the EC value. So what does this mean? Well, basically on a simple level, this allows you to make manual corrections to the set metering mode if it is consistently underexposing or overexposing your shot. Most cameras give you up to two stops of exposure compensation. The EC dial usually looks similar to this one, with a scale ranging from a positive maximum to a negative minimum with zero in the middle. A setting of zero means no exposure compensation applied, and each stop either doubles the amount of light or halves it depending on the sign. Exposure compensation is helpful in correcting metering errors your camera may make. For example, no matter what metering is used, a camera will always underexpose a subject such as a person in white in the snow. Such scenes will always need an EC of about plus one. In a dark environment, you might find yourself needing to lower your EC to a negative value so that you avoid chances of getting clipped highlights. Always remember that if you're shooting in RAW, you can always recover the overall exposure in Lightroom or any other post-production software. Here are a couple of examples where I used exposure compensation to get the desired outcome. The first picture was shot on the multi-metering mode. You can see that the rose is horribly underexposed. I didn't want to bother going through the settings to switch my metering mode, so instead, I set my EC to plus one, and in the next shot, you can see our rose gets the correct exposure. In picture number two, you can see that the highlights on the white objects are a bit too high. So I set my EC to negative one and a third. And in the next shot, you can see that the Apple logo and the writing on the card is a little bit more visible. Thanks for watching, and I hope this video was useful to you. Please leave a like or a comment, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. See you guys in the next one.